Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Monday, July 24th, and I'm back to do an update. I hope everybody had an amazing stitching weekend. I do have five finishes to show you, and I was actually finishing up four of them this morning while watching a lot of you guys out there. So thank you so much for doing those videos. It all takes time for us to do these videos. Uh, but I do think it benefits every stitcher out there who could watch them and pick up something or learn something or just entertain us. Uh, I'm going to start with, I did the Lizzie Kate Summer Smalls and the last time on my last video I had done Summer. And I'm going to answer some questions that I did have on this piece at the end of the video. But the next piece that I finished... Uh, was bees. And you can see I put a little bee charm up here and a little trim and the black and white check at the back and I did a little white trim on that piece. The next piece is berries. And on the berries I added just the blue fabric and lace trim here. Blue on the back and then the white chenille. So all three of these pieces now uh, we'll be sitting in that little wood oval container that I had in my last video. Uh, so that's two of the pieces that I finished this morning. And the next one was the freebie for my daughter. And this is the Eiffel Tower. And I did it into an oval shape. And I use, that's actually a plaid, a very soft, fabric on the back there, flannel, <laughs> and you can see I did the little fuzzy cording, and uh, that's her piece. And then the other piece, I, d I used the same fabric on the back, because I, I s stitched these both on the same fabric, and you can see I just did cording basically to pick up like the green highlights in here, and then that's the back. And you could see the sparkle in this cross. It, this is a beautiful piece. I really like this. Uh, so I'm excited about all of these pieces uh, that I did finish today. I had to go into my finishing mode and sometimes it's hard to get into that mode because it takes away from stitching time. I think it took me four hours to finish four pieces. It's about an hour a piece, which is normal and everybody thinks oh it's so quick it's not that quick you have to take your time and measure and cut and stuff and sew and all that good stuff so i do have those uh four finishes for you uh the next thing that i'm going to show you is a book i purchased i purchased another book and it's called sand sea and cross stitch and this is by anna field and you can see the book here. Let me see if I can get in closer. Now this is all nautical themes. If you really like stitching, you know, the ocean and the sea and things like that. I'm an ocean person. I love this and I'm going to be doing a lot of pieces from this book. So I'm just going to show you some of the patterns. You can see the sun on the boat. And you got a little seagull there. It's super, super cute. These are small designs. Some of them are big. I put sticky notes so I could show. Got some little cross stitch fish there. Mm -hmm. Super, super cute. There's a lot of great designs in this book. If you like lighthouses. You can see they got lighthouses in there. There is another lighthouse. It's a sampler, ABC sampler. And you got, you got that design there. And I just wanted to give you some ideas on this book. It is an amazing book. Anybody who likes nautical or ocean or boat theme, this, this is an awesome book. Now, the next thing I'm going to share with you uh, is, now on this last piece, 
this this was a freebie <laughs> I forgot I know I put these in my last videos but this this was actually in the uh, just cross stitch ornament issue 2012 page 80 and it's called his gift by my pig my big toe designs and this was done on 28 count picture this prize alchemy uh, this this linen now I know picture this plus is having their sale after midnight tonight it's only for 24 hours you get 25% off so if you want to get this linen you could get that there and I figured I'd mention that in case somebody forgets that that sale is going on and I'm gonna get something okay and I'm back now the next thing that I'm gonna uh, touch on today is I did have a lot of questions on my last video and the first question uh, was asked what linen was used for seize the day and that was 28 count summer sky jobelon and it's j-o-b-e-l-a-n i don't know if it's jobelin or jobelon that's what it was uh the next question was from ingeborg hi ingeborg i love watching you i mean i don't get to mention her a lot but i watch all her videos uh, she's from a stitch too far and she says do i do pickling or preserving uh, for my garden and all my vegetables and the answer is no <laughs> i've never been taught how to do that i know it's not hard i do not have the time to learn that right now and with all the vegetables and things that i'm getting i do give all my extra to my sister so she definitely benefits from that uh, the next question i have is from julie and she asked, what was my favorite way to prepare eggplant? <laughs> and I roast my eggplant with um, garlic, fresh garlic and extra virgin olive oil. And I cover it with tin foil and I just bake it in the oven. Depends on how much I have for about 40 minutes. I cover it with tin foil. So I do roast my eggplant. I also um, saute it in an omelet with mushrooms, onions, garlic, uh, you know, for an egg omelet, I put my eggplant in there. It's so good. Danette asked uh, if I grow corn, cabbage, or melons. No, I don't grow any of those, but next year I'm hoping to add a lot of different things to my garden. It is my first year with this garden, so I will be updating that. Sorry, I had to cough there. And then Jean asked, um, what did I use on the inside of summer and I'm gonna get what I did use to make this piece okay so to make summer this front piece is done with foam core board this is what foam core board looks like and what I do is I take my piece put it Put it on top of the phone cord and what i do is i pin it in the phone cord now you can leave the pins in or what i do is once i put it to the back i glue it and then i take out all the pins so you can really center the piece very easily and then the back of the piece is mat board and that's a lot thinner as you can this is a huge piece i couldn't find the small piece this is the mat board and what i do is i add a piece of batting on the back and then the fabric so it's the mat board the batting and then the fabric for the back and then I glue those pieces together and that's how I put together this piece and then I get ribbon or however you want to finish it but that's how I finished that piece I hope that helps somebody uh, if you want to do a flat piece like that now the next thing and the last thing the fifth piece I made will be a video attached uh, it was a special piece that I made for somebody they received it they got it they love it and I'm gonna attach that video at the end um, I do want to give a bunch of shout outs um, I, I meant to do it on my last video but I forgot <laughs> so that's why I have my notes today um, while I was finishing my pieces this morning I was watching Arlene Cohen. Hi Arlene, I'm glad you had an awesome trip. I watched D Squared. I was cracking up and I'm trying to finish a piece. 
their last video, you have to go watch it. It is so funny. The amount of project bags and needle minders and says, oh my gosh, you got to go watch them. Those two are so funny. Um, I don't know if they watch me, but they had me cracking up. So funny. Um, who else did I watch this morning? I watched Sun, Sunshine HEV. She's kind of new to floss tube. She's a young stitcher. She's doing some amazing pieces. So I do recommend going to visit her if you haven't visited her. Um, let's see. Yesterday I found a new floss tube. I don't know how I found it. I think it comes up in your feed. A pers persnickety stitcher and Hi, she gave a shout out on one of her videos about me. She was talking about my garden, which is so funny. Um, it's not that hard to grow a garden. And hello, uh, if you haven't visited her, go visit her. She'll actually be on Fiber Talk podcast. Uh, I think it, it came out yesterday. I haven't listened to it yet, but I definitely recommend uh, Fiber Talk podcast. I listen to it when I'm stitching on my really big piece because I can't watch videos or do anything while I'm doing that because that's total concentration. Um, I did find Stitching with Suzy Q. Uh, that was recommended by Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Um, I was watching her yesterday and she recommended her. So I went over to watch her. Like I, I have a billion videos to watch, but she's really good. She used to own a cross stitch store. She does some amazing framing. She has awesome pieces. You got to go visit her. She's really good. So thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> uh, the next one is Jen's Stitching Niche. Now, she's had a couple of videos out, and I really meant to mention her on her last video. She has so many whips and so many finished cross stitch pieces. You got to go visit her. And she did it, uh, a video with her friend, Teresa. Oh my gosh, they were really good. And You'll enjoy them. And then the next one I'm going to mention is C-O-L-L-B-N. She's been on Floss Tube for, for several years. She does some amazing pieces. Now, she doesn't sit in the video. She ha she, her focus is, she's off camera, but I love her um, videos. I, I just love how she updates and uh, what she's stitching on. Uh, so I'm sure there's a whole bunch I forgot, but I did have these written down. And I'm going to include also a video of my sunflowers have bloomed by the, um, the bird feeder. It is absolutely amazing. It looks great. And I'm going to include a short video on my, uh, a couple of pictures on my front garden. Uh, it's starting to fill out and um, I haven't included that before. I haven't really been working on the front garden a lot, just concentrating on the back this year. And until we meet again, everybody, have an awesome stitching week. Hi, everyone. It's Cindy, and I'm back to do a quick update. Um, this I will be attaching to another video, and the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm sending this out as a gift, and I wanted to share this uh, with you because it, it's just adorable. <laughs> now, a couple of uh, videos back, I did do... Uh, an update on some books and magazines that I purchased. And this one was called Nature by Susan Bates. And um, what I did is I, this is on page 59. I took a snippet of the bumblebees. Now I had other things in there. You can see the bumblebees there. And I made a little cushion uh, for someone who's near and dear to me and let me see if I could get in real close the detail of the bumblebee is just amazing with the threads Let's see if we could get a good one there so I did the big bumblebee here and then I added the two baby bumblebees and the outlining on this piece uh, the back stitching <laughs> makes it jump and pop and what I did is I the cording actually matches the grays and the yellows in the bumblebee up here. And I didn't do a big cording. I wanted a small cording because this is not a big piece. And then I added the little charm there. And this will be their little cushion. And I, I'm sure they'll adore it. And what I did is I purchased a matching needle case. And you can see it has a bumblebee here. 
and I'm gonna uh, be sending that out to them. Now I did want to share this with everybody uh, because it's so easy to make something so special and it doesn't have to be a gigantic piece like we all think. Um, it, it's an adorable piece. Now to Weasley Studios I won one of their giveaways and I'm wearing their cross stitch necklace. Let me see if I could get a good shot of it. I'll be putting this in another video, but um, I love it. I love the colors and every time I wear it, I think of them. Uh, they gave it away as a giveaway and I'll be sharing that uh, in my next video. So exciting. I got a gift and now I'm sending out a rack to someone else <laughs> and I'm sure it'll make their day. And that's what stitching is all about. It's about sharing the love and joy we have for this hobby. And I wish I could send everybody special gifts, but I'll be doing that throughout the year. And today is July 9th. It is a Sunday. I did have my hair cut, so when they cut it, I make them blow it out. The last time I had my hair cut was over a year and a half ago. That was the longest I have ever had my hair in my life. And I do like it a little bit shorter. I feel like I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> so it is Sunday, July 9th. I hope everybody is having an awesome weekend. Hi everybody. I'm just going to do a quick update of all of the sunflowers that are starting to bloom around my birdhouse is one. The birdhouse is almost covered in sunflowers. It is so beautiful. Like I see this from my kitchen and my sunroom and I didn't plant these. This is from feeding the birds the black oil sunflower seeds. And since they dropped so many seeds, <laughs> uh, all this grew around the birdhouse. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. Look how pretty. And you could see the bees. It's so good for the bees. We need our bees, that's for sure. And look, this it's getting ready to bloom and there's so many of them. Look at this big one. One of the birdhouses is like almost covered from the sunflowers, but the birds find their way in there. Um, I just had to show you how beautiful this is and I didn't plant these. It's just, it's just amazing. I, I love sunflowers and um, I just had to share this with everybody. Look at this big one. Look at how beautiful that is. There's so many still, like you look. Look at all the buds. There's still gonna be so many more. I think it's just an amazing, beautiful, beautiful thing to have. And um, look at that. How gorgeous is that? It, it just makes me smile. <laughs> how could you not smile at that? And like I said, I didn't plant these and um, feeding my birds, like I said, I think it's God just paying me back for feeding all our bird friends. I feed them all year long. I don't have pets, but I feed these birds. They eat me out of house and home. You could see all the bees. I think that's awesome. The bees need flowers, so, and it's good to see bees around. And that's it on the update on the sunflowers. Uh, the other gardens are doing awesome. Nothing really new to show there. I hope everybody's having an awesome day.